Hi! Welcome! Today we're going to be making some snow traces using paper, um, food coloring, we've got four different colors, and also crayons. Um, if you have oil pastels, um, oil pastels also work really well. But for now, um, we'll just use crayons. So, I would like to make a landscape today, kind of similar to the group of seven, which we have featured in the AGA right now. Um, and they made landscapes of the Canadian uh, outdoors. So, I'm going to try and emanate a group of seven. For this exercise, you have to press fairly hard because what we will be doing is using snow to create a watercolor effect over top of the crayon. foreground, the midground, and the background. You can divide your paper loosely into three parts. In the bottom, middle, and top. And you can do just a very basic sketch. So, you can use any uh, type of paper that you like for this, but generally the thicker the paper, the kind of hardness of it, the harder it is, the more it will stand up to the snow. Because we're now going to put some snow on top of our paper, and then we're going to use our food coloring on top. So, I would suggest using a cookie sheet. We've got a cookie sheet here, so I'm going to put my... Um, my paper on top of the cookie sheet and that's going to catch all the drippings as the snow starts to melt. So I'm just going to take my snow. This is pretty crunchy snow but hopefully you'll have really nice fluffy snow. It doesn't really matter what kind of snow. I'm just going to put it all over the place. Of course, when it melts, it's going to expand. That looks like enough. And when working with food coloring, less is more. So I'm only going to add maybe one drop per section. Well, see, they only give you a certain amount of colors inside the box. We have primary colors here, and we also have green. So we have red, yellow, and blue. And we don't have any purple, but if we wanted to make purple, we would add 
red to our blues. And if we wanted to make orange, we would mix yellow and red together.